So now in this video, we're going to use the packet oscilloscope again. We're going to use 7 volts because there's 8 divisions here. So we got 1 volt per division. Uh, 7 volts will go up uh, 7 divisions there. It takes 1 second because that's what I set it to for the uh, line there to scroll from uh, one division to the other. We have a, a capacitor here. So the capacitor completely discharged because we got the oscilloscope here. It's a low impedance, well relatively low impedance oscilloscope. It's got about a million ohms of resistance, so it's really not low, but uh, it's low for an oscilloscope. We're going to instantly charge the uh, 100 microfarad capacitor again by connecting it directly to the positive supply. The negative su side of the capacitor is to the negative uh, supply, and uh, it's going to drift down a little bit over time again because this uh, oscilloscope doesn't have a ton of resistance. You know, it's somewhat high. So in any case, we power the load. You can see the voltage uh, quickly dropped and uh, kind of leveled off and it's going down uh, somewhat rapidly LED is conducting a little bit and then at this point it's uh, basically leakage the last two volts through the oscilloscope so now that was kind of a quick review of what we did in the last video for this video our goal is to compare what we just saw there with uh, the uh, 100 microfarad uh, capacitor to the 200 or I mean 1000 sorry microfarad capacitor. So it stores about 10 times as much charge per volt. You can see that it is drifting down, but it's probably drifting down uh, quite a bit uh, slower. So we could uh, test that out, but uh, we're not going to go into that much uh, detail in this video. So in any case, again, we can instantly uh, charge the uh, capacitor. It was uh, down about two volts. That was, you know, over about an 18 hour period of using it yesterday. It still had that stored charge but the oscilloscope was draining it down. So we still get that instant charge and it's gonna hold the voltage there you can see uh, better than the 100 microfarad capacitor. But again, it was uh, drifting down. Now we power the load. You don't see a almost uh, sudden drop. It is a, a quick drop there and then uh, levels off. And right now the LED is conducting a little bit. It's gonna go down and then it's gonna hold about two volts for a long time. But if you notice, things are taking about 10 times as long with the 1000 microfarad capacitor as the 100 uh, microfarad capacitor. So when it comes to stored charge, voltage changes take about 10 times longer and whatnot. It's a basic property of uh, capacitors. So that's it for this video. Just wanted to quickly demonstrate it because this is the short video series. Hope you enjoyed.